Hey, what's going on you guys? It's your man James aka JP back again with another toy room review. Today we're taking a look at the Jada Toys Hollywood Rides Ghostbusters Ecto-1. Now this is made by the same company that makes all the Fast and the Furious cars that I do. Uh, so I saw this immediately had to pick it up. They make it in this scale which I believe is 132 and then they also make it in a smaller scale which might be... Don't quote me on this 116. I'm sorry. This this actually might be 124. I am not good with scales I don't even know if it says it on here anywhere uh, Which I don't see it anywhere, but this might be actually 124 scale uh, But they do make a smaller version of this as well. Anyways, uh, yeah getting into the packaging There's not much going on you can see like the metal here on the side for die cast You got the Ghostbusters logo in the back you can see uh, like the the monsters and, and the city in the background not the monsters but like the 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 monster effects back there, the lightning effects and all that. I don't think you can actually see any slimers back there. Uh, and then open window on this side. And then on the back, you can see uh, some of the opening parts and the actual uh, picture of the car itself. So that's pretty much it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and get this out of the packaging. We'll take a closer detail look. All right, you guys. So here is the Ecto-1 out of the packaging. And overall... It looks really great. It looks like a faithful recreation of the Ecto-1. Uh, and just to get this out of the way, yes, the car does roll, and it rolls fairly well, so no complaints there. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and just get into the details of the car. So looking up here at the grill, you can see all that nice chrome detail shining very, very nicely. And then you do have the little plastic lenses for the headlights. And you can see right there the old school New York license plate that says Ecto-1. Looking very, very nice. And then coming to the hood, you have the Cadillac little emblem right there looking very nice and the couple hood vents right here now the hood does open uh there's not much to see under there you can see kind of let me just uh adjust these settings here make things a little brighter you can see a little bit of the engine work in there nothing too crazy uh and then coming back to the actual uh hood scoops you got those right there that are sculpted in which looks very nice then coming to the side you have the nice white wall tires with the nice chrome rims right there looking very very cool and again, these do spin and come into the side. You have the famous Ghostbusters logo right there. And then you got the red stripe going across all the way to the taillights. In the back, you have that little cover that covers up half of the wheels. And then on the top here, you can see all the little sirens and hoses and little contraption lights and buttons and all that. It would have been nice if this had some electronics and these uh, lights actually lit up and made the the noises and whatnot but you know for thirty dollars you can understand why not uh and again coming to that back piece right here with the red and the nice metallic silver right there looking pretty cool coming to the tail lights same thing here would have been nice to see some red in here for the tail lights it is just silver and again you got that license plate right there with the ghostbusters logo on the back then coming to this side it's the exact same thing with the exception of the little ladder right there but everything else is exactly the same so looking pretty cool and now the doors do open up in the front uh the rears rear doors do not open there is an open window but the doors do not open there is a lot of good detail in here but again it's hard to see because it's inside and it's all pretty much sculpted black with the exception of the foot pedals right there you can kind of see that detail in there and then on this side if we can adjust that let's see if i can get in there kind of see but not really but you got like the steering wheel and the dashboard and everything like that in there so that is pretty cool and then also the back door does open up this one's kind of hard uh to open up because there's not really anywhere to do it i just kind of like slam the car backwards and eventually it, it opens up and then if we can see in here and kind of see some of if we can focus in it's kind of hard there you go you can see some of the floor and the back seats and everything like that so really cool attention to detail even though no one's really ever going to see that it is nice uh that they include that and they always include that with their fast and the furious cars and whatnot so i always like that from jada toys is it jada toys jada toys i call them jada toys anyways that is pretty much it for this video uh so that is the ecto one from jada toys be sure to look out for this i found it at walmart again they make this scale and and they also make a smaller scale version kind of similar to this uh th this would be around the size of the the other version of the ecto one that they make so just for a size comparison you can see if you get the smaller one uh what you're looking at right there but yeah so like i said i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you like comment and subscribe share this video with your friends stay tuned for more be sure to follow me on instagram the link is in my description as always and as always i'll see you guys next time